Good day, sir. My name is Nalpame Agumbay Lerisma, your Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, freshman student of Lady Normal University, San Isidro Campus, under Entrepreneurial Behavior Management subject. Here is my video citation presentation to the following. So the first task is how an entrepreneur works to the businessman. So an entrepreneur is the one who create or initiate ideas on establishing new ventures for businesses to the businessmen. And it also acquire resources and financing. The second task, I'll explain to you some of the attitudes of an entrepreneur. So number one, passion. Whatever motivates a person to strive for success is where his or her passion lives. And that what makes an entrepreneur a successful one. The second one is bravery. Fear grips entrepreneurs, just like it grips the rest of us. They are afraid that they will fail or that a whole concept, concept will not be carried out. However, they do not let their fears of failure to define them. Failure helps them grow. They use their fear of failing to motivate themselves to work harder and repair any flaws that lead to their failure. The third attitude is strong work ethic. Starting a business from the bottom up and becoming a successful business owner is not simple. A new venture requires many hours of hard effort, frustration, inventiveness, and supervision. How can you expect to succeed if you are unwilling to wake up and work hard every day? There is no such thing as a successful firm that is built swiftly, effortlessly, or without conflict. Entrepreneurs are self-motivated and always looking forward. The fourth attitude is flexibility. Flexible entrepreneurs should be conscious that in order to achieve their defined goal, they may need to change their approach or even amend their established goal. The last attitude is integrity. Entrepreneurs must be able to demonstrate their honesty and integrity to others. Colleagues, vendors, consumers, and investors must all have faith in them, regardless of the type of business they want to start. There's no getting around it. Entrepreneurs need to be trusted, and trust has to be earned. Colleagues must feel like they are an important part of the company's success. So for the third task, I'll be discussing about our 1 to 10 assignment. Number 1, what are the factors that affect the culture of organization? The factors that affect the culture of organization are gender, region, organizational strategy, industry, leadership, and employees. Number two, how organizations live longer. In order for an organization to survive longer, they strive to achieve their objectives or goals so that it can outlast its tenants. The third question is, when can we say that an organization is a powerful tool for human beings? To distinguish a powerful organization, it is when the employee's productivity is directly linked to the outcomes and performance of individuals to complete tasks or solve problems. The fourth question is why divisional structures are very important for organization. So divisional structures are very important for organization because this facilitates communication, coordination, and control, thus contributing to organizational success. It also provides satisfaction to the managers that in turn improves efficiency and effectiveness.